Hello everyone, welcome back to another week and Happy New Year. I know I've already wished you all Happy New Year, but it is now actually New Year because it is Thursday, the 2nd of January, 2020 today. So the first thing on the agenda for today is we're going to this place called, is it called Lofties? Stratford. It's called Lofties in Stratford. Um, it's a furniture place and it's essentially just a warehouse. I love warehouses because they always involve a good rummage. And one of my followers on my home account actually recommended this place to us. And then once I sort of started stalking their Instagram and I found where they were on Google Maps, I was like, they're about 15 minutes away from where we live. And I have just been really excited ever since. So today's the first day that they've been open, like after the festive period they've had like a two-week break so we're gonna drive over there this morning and have a little look around just to briefly explain what kind of place they are so they I'm not really sure how it works like how they've sourced the stock but essentially they have these like one-off items from some of the like most popular online furniture retailers like Maiden Swoon and I think they might be yeah, I think they might be customer returns, which is why they're available to take away and they have a bit of discount on them as well. Some have just a little bit and some have quite a decent amount of discount. So we're going to go have a rummage in their warehouse today and I am beyond excited to see all of the goodies that they have. But before we get going, I figured I would show you guys my outfit because over the next few weeks we're going to be quite home and interiors heavy so I just want to make sure that I'm still giving you guys my fashion content and my outfits when I've actually managed to get dressed in something other than my DIY 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 attire so this is today oh sorry B darling I'm sorry this is today's outfit look at his little face did I just step on you come here I'm so sorry Oh, my bee. Oh, yeah, that's it. Come for all my cuddles. So, yeah, anyway, this is today's outfit. Blazer is quite old. It's one of those bloats from And Other Stories. Um, jumper underneath is also quite old. One, no, two years old, I think this is. Uh, from Jigsaw. It's wool. It's lovely and warm. The jeans are new-ish. I got them a couple of weeks before Christmas. They are from And Other Stories. The boots, unfortunately, I'm afraid to say, are also old. They're like an olive green suede. They were from Topshop. I think just over a year ago, maybe a year and a few months. And then I also have Judith, who is fully stuffed today because I have quite a few cameras and stuff in here. And yeah, that's it. That's today's outfit. Now, once Simon has finished sorting himself out and getting ready, we are going to head off to... Okay. I've forgotten what it's called. What's it called again? Lofties. Lofties. <laughs> Terrible. We've made it. Um, made it to Lofties. Here it is, look. I, I, cannot, I know, I'm gonna love it. Look at it all. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> Look at all the rummaging to be done. There's so much stuff. Difficult. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, thanks, Siri. <laughs> There's literally so much stuff. I can't, I almost can't take it all in. <gasps> what is that? Oh my god, we don't need a wardrobe, but I love it. I can't get to it. <gasps> oh, this has just got me written all over it. I don't even attempt to look over there at the rugs. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's our bedside table. Look at that. Although there is only just the one, so we don't have to feel bad about that. Could have had mix and match. Could have had mix and match, yeah. That would have done my head in though. Simon brings me to all the best places. This is where we're going now. Aladdin's cave. Aladdin's cave. We're on the, uh, I've just, I haven't picked up my camera, but we have been in a few secondhand shops. You love it, innit? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for gems. This place has got to have some gems. I mean, who is this guy? Look at how they've got all the chairs. Make sure you sit on them. Just stick them on the ceiling. Solves the space issue. Try before you buy. <laughs> this is uh, definitely an Aladdin's cave. I mean... What? Who is this now? Mind it. 
I love places like this. Right, we are back home. It feels like a fridge in here. It's so bloody cold. You didn't have any luck, did we? No, didn't have any luck today, but... Lots of stuff, but nothing you wanted to... No, enjoyed looking around Lofties. We're going to go back, aren't we, on Saturday? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Definitely. Yeah. Hopefully, definitely. Definitely. Because <laughs> they said the guy that owns it, runs it, said that they have got a swoon delivery coming tomorrow. So they need a couple of days to get all that sorted out. And then Saturday we're going to go in first thing and have a good old mooch. But right now we are setting up these. Well, not setting them up, but we're testing them, aren't we? That's nice. So my mum and dad give us some money for Christmas. And as you might have seen on my Instagram stories before Crimbo, we bought some Sonos. Is it Sonos or Sonos? No idea. Sonos, I think it is. Don't know, who knows. Um, we bought some speakers for the house. We've got one in the bedroom and one in the kitchen. So then we decided with my mum and dad's Christmas money that we were going to invest in the, what's this called? Bar, sound bar. A beam. A beam. And these two things, which are essentially just upgrades for our Sony sound system well, that we've got. There's nothing wrong with that one, is there? But it's Bluetooth. It's, oh, it's Bluetooth, so, and this is Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth isn't as good, and they sometimes cut out, yeah. don't they? And also, we just wanted to have everything connected, yeah. and this Sonos thing is obviously everything connects together. So that's what we're about to just semi-set them up. We're not actually going to fit them, are we, until we've done this room. Yeah, just want to check they work. We just want to check they work. I'm unprofessional. This is the third one you should not have to do by now. Professional Sono setter upper. This has all gone horribly wrong, hasn't it? Not going very well, has it? No. This just definitely isn't as easy as they make it out to be. Good job. Ah. Didn't work. Noise interference. Oh. That's you lot, I have to do it again. Well, Change of plan. Do you want to tell everyone what we've just decided after, can I just say, how many hours? Right after about two hours of faffing around, what have we just decided? We're going to keep this one. We're going to keep the original sound bar. <laughs> because? It's better, I think, I think that's too small for this room. Yeah. Sorry, Sonos, but... Um, We're going to keep yeah. one of the SLs, aren't we? We're going to keep one of these smaller speakers, yeah, for music, because we've got, oh, we've got the version up from that, haven't we? Maybe we'll get the play bar next time. The bigger one. What's that? Bigger. It doesn't look as nice. Oh. Oh, well. Hello, everyone. It is now Sunday. The time is 9.54 a.m. I, as you can probably tell by the sound, as it's probably a bit echoey, have literally just stripped all the bedroom of, well, apart from those, I'll explain those in a minute. But I've basically taken down all the mirrors, the curtains, the curtain poles, any pic, oh no, I've just noticed some nails. <laughs> I've almost finished taking down all of the pictures and mirrors um, and I'm going to start filling the holes of where all those bits and bobs were and then I can let that filler dry. I need to pop to B&Q to pick up a couple of bits and then I'm going to sand them all down and start to paint in here. So that's my plan of action for today. I've got the paint, which again is a Valspar paint. As I start painting, you guys will see what colour it is. It's not too different from this. It's just a slightly more warmer grey beige tone. I have swatched it on the walls, but I've swatched the actual farrow and bowl. So what I might do, because lots of you guys were asking me if I had a swatch for... Um, railings 
which is what's on the wardrobes and obviously railings is not what we used it's the color that we used but obviously we had it mixed by valspar so what i might do is just put a little bit next to one of the swatches so that you guys can see the difference between a farrow and ball paint and the valspar paint because i'm also quite curious because i haven't actually seen them side by side i'm still sure that i'll probably like the valspar paint more though because it's just a dream to work with um, so yeah, that is the plan for today. So I'm gonna get fill in the holes first and then go to B&Q. <sighs> right, <laughs> we've had a slight development. So also, if you can hear all the shooting and stuff downstairs, fret not. It's not, you know, some crazy attack somewhere. It's just Simon playing Call of Duty downstairs. Um, I have filled all the holes, which I'm very proud of. And then I thought before I go to B&Q, because there's going to be a difference in those paint swatches, as I was mentioning, I bought the Farrow and Ball tester for the colour Cornforth White. Tested that, swatched it on the walls. I swatched it over here and I swatched it over there because there's two like slightly different lights. And we decided that's the colour that we like. And it's also a really good match, it says on the Farrow and Ball site, for railings, which is what we did this in. But again, we colour match this. Now, I did not, I wasn't able to get a railings sample pot. So we never actually saw what railings looked like on these wardrobes. So I thought before I go to B&Q, I will swatch the Valspar mixed Cornforth white next to both swatches of the Farrow and Ball paint. And I thought I'll just leave them to dry for a few minutes. So I've been sat here pondering for about 20 minutes because there is actually quite, I, I would say it's quite a big difference between the two paints. I have thoroughly stirred the Valspar one, but one is cooler, the other one is warmer. I'm going to twizzle you guys around so you can have a look but now I'm in a little bit of a predicament because I actually prefer the cooler one which is the Farrow and Ball paint and you all know how I feel about Farrow and Ball. <laughs> I cannot spend that much money on a can of paint or it's probably going to be quite a few cans of paint but I just prefer the colour. And now I don't know what to do. Right, so here is swatch number one. Let's zoom in. Hang on a minute. There we go. Right, swatch number one. This one here, Farrow and Bowl. This one here, Valspar. And it's pretty much dry. Um, so as you can see, this one is warmer. This one is cooler. This is the one that I like. This one... I'm now not so sure of. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I just feel like I'm almost eating my words a little bit that I've just complained and complained and complained about Farrow and Ball paint. And it's really going to pain me inside to go and purchase, well, it's going to be more than one tin for it in here. It's going to be several tins. It's going to pain me to my very core to buy that paint. Right, I've done another couple of swatches of, this is the Valspar colour match paint, and I've done it next to the wardrobe, or as close as I could get without masking taping it, um, just for now to kind of see what it looks like next to the wardrobes, because obviously the wardrobes are very, they're very cool, because they're like an inky blue. I know they kind of look grey in this light, but they are more of an inky blue. So I want to see what that looks like next to it rather than just having these random swatches over here. And then I've done another swatch again of the Valspar paint in a different light over here just so I can see what it looks like. As you can tell, I'm really trying to avoid buying Farrow and Ball paint. So my sort of thought process is, despite how much I really like Farrow and Ball's Cornforth White, it is cooler. So perhaps I should go for the warmer colour because this is quite cool. I don't know. My plan also was to go to B&Q because I need to get some, like, this special spray paint paint stuff because up there, you might be able to see, let's zoom if we can zoom. Yeah, you might be able to see it. There is a little bit of stainage up there from where we had a leak in the loft 
few years ago um, and the stain, no matter how many times you paint over a water stain, it will always come through. So you need to buy the special paint. Some guy came the other day to assess a similar problem that we have just discovered in the kitchen, which means that we have to get the bathroom redone, which was on our list, but not until like later on this year. Um, Anyway, I'll fill you guys in on that later because it's a whole other issue that has just cropped up. So yeah, he advised to go and get this special paint. So I need to go to B&Q, but I can't go to B&Q until I've decided on these paints. So for now, I'm just gonna show you guys what we did on the back of the bed because we've been swatching on the back of the bed as well because I'm still undecided on what to do with the bed. So this is the bed, which as you can see is currently solid oak. The reason I bought this bed was because Simon really wanted a solid wooden bed um, just because of the quality and the sturdiness. And our last bed was so uncomfortable. And also it has these two drawers at the end here, which is very specifically what I wanted. Now I did change the handles to the same handles as what we have on the wardrobes because they are nicer handles but um, basically under bed storage is really important and we cannot have another one of those lift up beds because we've gone through I think two or three already and they just break so we're not having any more of those but I did want some drawers in here to keep my pyjamas and hair stuff like hair tools like hair dryer, hair curlers etc etc. So I bought this bed with the full intention of painting it and or staining it um, so on the back here we have swatched I'm gonna see if I can just glide past here so I can show you but we have swatched some color options so I'm gonna explain this first basically this is what we did the wardrobes in which as you can see from over here now do look quite inky blue um, so this swatch here was just that paint directly onto this wood. This one, because the people on the Valspar counter explained to us that the paint will look a different colour if it is painted onto another colour. So as you would have seen in the wardrobes video, they were Dulux, uh, what was it called? Polished Pebble, which is a very light grey. It's actually this, what we have on here. Um, so that's what they were underneath. And despite the fact that we obviously sanded the doors as much as possible, that paint was still what this dark paint went onto. So that's why that's that color. So my original thought was to paint the bed in the same color, which would be this. So as you can see there, I've done an undercoat of polished pebble and then put two coats of railings on top. But the other option is to stain. So this is the stain here. These are actually both the same. It's just this was unsanded and then this was sanded. So let's look at this because obviously we're going to need to sand. Now the problem we have is it was an ideal situation to paint the back of the bed because the back of the bed is never going to be seen. So this is where we could do our trials. The downside to that is that obviously the natural light is not getting on here because it's on the back of the bed. So we need to try and twizzle this out so we can see what this looks like next to our furniture. So I'm thinking we're just gonna stain the whole bed rather than paint it. Right, I've just been to B&Q um, to get some paint, this stain block paint, which is what someone recommended, a professional, we use for up there in the corner. So as you can see, let me zoom, I have Oops, there we go. I have already done, that's two coats of the stain stuff, stain base coat spray paint kind of thing. So I'm just waiting for that to dry. It takes 10 minutes between each coat and then I will spray on my last coat and then I will get cracking with the painting whilst in between these coats dry and I've just gone around and sanded down and kind of dusted down the walls. I'm not sure whether to masking tape the coving because obviously I'm not painting the ceiling first so I might just paint really carefully with a brush. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I know it's a bit weird that I haven't painted the ceiling first, there is a reason for that um, and that is that the light maybe being moved. I haven't actually decided that either yet. And as you can tell, I'm very impatient. So I am doing the walls first. 
Hello and good evening. It is now time is it? 5 p.m. Um, I am I should probably explain where I'm sat. I'm sat in the basement, which you probably won't recognise because I've barely vlogged down in here because it's not an area of the house which I particularly like to venture into unless I'm doing the washing, which the machines are nestled inside this horrendous cupboard. Um, but this is the next big project in the house renovations. Um, so I decided to basically sack off today in terms of painting. I could not come to a decision over that damn paint. It has messed with my mind to a whole nother level, which I think is ridiculous because at the end of the day, it's paint, it's a colour. But hey ho, it has messed with my mind. So I feel like today I need to completely forget about the paint, have a sleep, sleep on it, feel refreshed tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm just going to make a decision. I'm just going to go for it. Um, so basically what I've been doing, because the basement is going to be started on Tuesday next week, I believe, if all goes to plan. So we've had to clear out this back half of the basement because our basement is in two halves. Had to clear out this section. So that is what I have done with the afternoon. So I have been a little bit productive. Um, so in the next vlog, which you guys will catch on Sunday, because basically we're just doing these home renovations to get them done so I'm sorry if there's not any kind of like usual fashiony content but I'm hoping you guys are enjoying these renovation videos and um, so the next vlog instalment will be on Sunday and in there you're gonna see I'll give you guys a little mini tour of the basement because I don't think I've ever done that um, and alongside all of these renovation vlogs for the basement in particular kind of like what we did for the kitchen if you watch the kitchen renovation video if you didn't either and above um, but kind of like that video we're going to do a dedicated video because it's a much bigger project not just redecorating um, so in the next vlog I'll just give you guys a little taster because that full renovation video probably won't be until the end of January maybe beginning of February and you'll also finally see which paint I have come to a decision on for the bedroom and I'll probably have got cracking on that as well um, but just as another reminder you can go and follow my home account on Instagram which I created a couple of weeks ago oh dear see it's been a long day I'm losing my voice and um, that may well give some spoilers and a few more sort of insights into day to day what kind of things we are doing so I will sign off this vlog here and I will catch you guys on Sunday for the next installment so for now Farewell.